Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Slice Slime, and last time we finally made our transfer nodes and got here to there done. And then when we looked at what we should do next, well, we came across this crazy quest. Absolutely insane, where we need an industrial blast furnace and 34 standard machine casings. Whew. So, uh... We're gonna at least try it. We're gonna try it to see how far we can get with that. Probably. Make 34 of these first. Because this is gonna... okay. Uh, there's a whole ton of refined iron needed for this, so let's just get that going. Okay. This muffler is actually kind of annoying. So I'm gonna take it away. It doesn't help with this thing anyway, so might as well. We have tons of water in here now, so that should be okay. We just need to start making absurd amounts of uh, refined iron. We have 10 blocks of iron in here. That's not going to be enough. We're using up our iron so quickly. Dang. That's worrying, actually, because we're going to need the iron for more um, steel then, too. So we got... I guess we can make... Let's make 16. 16 is a nice and even number in terms of Minecraft, so let's make 16 refined blocks of iron. This is the horror noise, so let's get away from that. <laughs> what else? We needed a bunch of refined iron plates, and we have a couple. Bang! I'm, with this going, I should probably like dig my way down to bedrock and just put the, the EFAB there. That's horrible. We only have three refined iron plates left. Alright, these are refined iron, so we have nine ingots, so we could probably put those to press. Alright, well we have... <laughs> wow. We have uh, we have 12 of these now, and a whole bunch of blocks. I'm gonna split these into 45. I just did the math here. <laughs> this, this is lovely. We need 34 of these, right? I'm gonna double check that. 34 standard machine casings. 34 of these, we get two per recipes. So we're gonna need uh, 34 divided by 2. That's 17 times 6 of these refined iron plates. Uh, actually, we're gonna need two more for each one. So hold on. <laughs> so we're gonna need 8 per one. So that means we need 136 refined iron plates to complete this quest. So this is probably these, these blocks that I just made. Probably not enough. And we ran out of water. So, good. Good times. Uh, I guess let's fill up the water tanks while we press a bunch of these more plates, but <laughs> this is gonna happen mostly off-camera because this is gonna be tedious. Wow. Alright, well this should be done soon so I can speak to you without this horrible noise. We have a problem here. I just put on one, so it's... Yeah, there it goes. So that's done. This uses up an insane amount of water, though, so that's the problem. But I just, I just uh, thought of something here. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove a bunch of this. Um, okay, where did that go? Oh, off the edge. Good. <laughs> so we're gonna take away that. Let's see. This is the water one. Um, we're gonna place that here. And look, we actually got these. Like we never used them up. So transfer node for fluids. And then uh, a transfer pipe onto that. This is this. Is this. Mm -hmm. It's like impossible to tell if this is actually doing anything. It doesn't say anything here. And this is okay. Yeah, it is taking away stuff from this thing. So maybe it was taking away stuff from that thing too. Who knows? Let's see if if it's quicker though. So if we put this here, put the faucet back on. How is it nighttime all the time? I'm just grinding away too much, I guess. I flew into bed there. That was interesting. I hope it doesn't glitch anything out. Uh, okay, I'm <laughs> just... I slept wearing my hang glider. That's a totally normal thing. Alright, so let's see how this, how this is doing. Okay, so this transfer node is definitely transferring water quicker into here than this faucet is transferring water out of there, which is good. 
Oh, wait, I could just... Okay. New test. Oh, dang. I did not mean, mean to take that away, but it's fine. Well, uh, 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 no, 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 fall off, please. We're putting this back up here. We're putting the transfer node back onto the side of it. We're putting the pipe back on here. Now this should be filling up this tank. It is. Cool. So we no longer need that barrel in between or anything. This this is just filling up. Uh, Hopefully pretty decently vast. <laughs> Alright, so um, cover your ears. Here we go. Well, we've made five. It's just about keeping up. I think it's losing... Okay. It's losing a little bit of water. Uh, let's just throw an axe at it, I guess. Uh, but uh, it's kind of keeping up. And once this is full, once once this process is completed, we should probably be able to mostly have it keep up. I'm going to throw that out there because I want to go and put these on. And the press. I've kind of started putting stuff here in this box. We have a stack of these now. We need more than two stacks. Alright, after lots and lots of noise, we're done with that and we can start making a piston. Um, oh god. That's just... Uh, I found 20 refined iron ingots in one of my mining backpacks, so that's cool. While those are being chomped away down there, I kind of figured we should probably... Ouch. We should probably make this thing a little better. So... It would be nice with a piston-driven thing here, um, which kind of requires us to do some redstone, which means that this is maybe not the best location for this thing. Um, I guess one thing we could do is we could put it here on the outside, have it stick through the wall and have a stack of logs on the outside. I That could be a thing. So in order to do that, we need to take the latex out of it. Um, just so it doesn't... Oh god. Uh, I've tried to make something that, like, auto picks this up too. It it didn't work. Um, why am I carrying all this junk? <laughs> I think maybe what we'll do is this. We'll put that... We'll put it next to it. We'll put it out one, I think. So, it'll actually be, like, one step in between, and here will be the stack of vlogs. Uh, and there will there will be a reason for that because we want to bring up a redstone signal and whatever. So, but this should be done. It is. This is empty. I'm gonna take that away. Take this away. Take that up here. So this should be enough for those. Okay, let's take a look at our our pattern again. Um, so the standard machine casing requires these six. They're done. Uh, they also need a full block of refined iron. This is madness. This is complete and utter lunacy. So we're going to need 34 more blocks of refined iron. Uh. 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 So I'm going to need 34 blocks of iron to start with. So what we want is basically here on this column. We want a piston and then a hill column of logs. So I'm going to put down that column to begin with. All right, so here's the setup. We have a good old fashioned lever sending a signal into a good old fashioned repeater here. When this block disappears, because this uh, has chewed through it, this signal out here is going to disappear. Now, I could just like spiral this down with old fashioned redstone. And that's not what I want to do. Instead, I think these are now, they're pretty pricey with the Electrum, but they're pretty okay, too. So I'm going to make a redstone wire connectors, and we're going to pull a redstone wire down. The big problem is this, the actual wire coil, requires aluminium wire. But what do you do? I, we got a bunch of it before, so I think it'll be fine. All right, so here's the setup I'm going to try. Uh, we have a redstone connector here, one up there. And I think I can just connect these with the coil to there. Okay, birds on a wire, very nice. So this, 
uh, did not work. <laughs> so that should have turned off. So let's just go up and see where the problem is. Okay, so after being done before a bit here, I realized I'd never switched the mode on this thing. So uh, let's see. This is input mode, but now it's output mode. <laughs> it was that simple. I guess we can just leave it as it is now, though. All right, so here is our high-tech fancy machine idea. <laughs> Redstone signal gets pulled down from there, ignites this. This pushes this up. Uh, we have another piston here, which we're going to hook up to trigger afterwards. So after this has pushed up and then been turned off, this is going to trigger, push out, and then push back in. All right, so here it is. Uh, this is now up. Uh, we have this signal coming out here. We're going to put that into... We have one of these repeaters left. I think the full repeater delay should be enough. Um, we'll put the other wire on here. And then we'll just connect these up and switch the modes. So there to there. And... In. Output. Good. Now this needs a uh, pulse because, yeah. And then the idea is the sand, sand box just falls in and covers it up so we can keep, like we have a stack of sand here, it can keep going. And then once it's like all full, we'll, I guess, just take it all down manually and fill it. This will be replaced later by some actual block placing mechanism, but for now, at least it keeps us going with latex, which is good. So if we, let's see. If we pulse this, we have sand falling in there. And now all we need to do is wait for it all to do, happen again so we can verify that it's, yeah, that it works. <laughs> all right, we're getting closer. It's a bit of a pity that there's no way to tell. There we go. Oh, look at that. It looks like it worked. Uh-huh. Do we have... Oh, that was very silly of me. It worked! So we can just stack this all the way to the sky, or at least this many blocks, and it will keep going until these blocks are done. So that's good. There's just one part of this that's missing, and that's why this is now making more liquid glass, uh, which is taking forever. I guess maybe maybe let's just move this too, because the power power situations upstairs here is just so much better, so <laughs> incredibly much better. I I don't really want these things here. At, once I'm done, like properly done, but for now, this can just live here. This looks like it's quicker. I hope. So I did that. I did this. And what I'm getting at is, we actually can make another one of these, we need... Oh wait, didn't I get some leftovers? I should have gotten some leftovers, I don't even need those, <laughs> whatever. Let's go and try to find those, or did I... I only used two, I should have gotten... Hmm. Liquid transfer node, there, there, perfect. So now we have another one of these, we could put that here, and actually pull a pipe to the latex one which right now is over here but that it doesn't need to be on this side of it we can just put it over here because I'm, I'm betting we'll have more tanks and stuff down the line so pipe from there and why not just like put this along the floor and the wall kind of like this and there and this is not getting more Oh, oh, it has to find it. There it goes. We put another bucket in. Uh -huh. I guess it takes a while. All right, yeah, it is empty. It's definitely empty. Now it's emptying quicker, too. So now we'll have latex automatically, well, mostly automatically, <laughs> being produced. We kind of need to stash a bunch of sand more here, and then we'll need to switch sand down the line out for actual wood but not as often as I needed to before so that's a clear win sweet 
anyway, I think that'll do it for today. We're pretty far from the actual minor thing, I'm sad to say. We're also far from the other thing we tried to do. We need way more iron, so maybe before the next episode I'll just go off camera again and just do a whole ton of mining. It's pretty quick now with this awesome drill, so that's good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Jin Slime, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.